Hi monkeys, here Kang. Today I will tell you a very big secret. How does the top 1% of the world invest? Very big secret. If you know the secret, you can laugh while the others are crying. Moving averages. Well, well, well. Just use them and get rich. What is this? A moving average. Well, it's an average of prices over a certain period. For example, if you have a 50 days moving average, it means uh, you just add up the prices in the last 50 days and then you have the average of these 50 prices. You can easily do it in Excel, you know. Uh, if you have a moving average, for example, here you can see some uh, samples of moving averages, right? Here you can see five different moving averages, you know. Or uh, which ones are they? Um, the uh, five days moving average, ten days, twenty days, sixty days, and one hundred twenty moving, one hundred twenty day moving averages. Well, a moving average aggregates many prices and eliminates some of the noise. Here, for example, uh, the moving average uh, on the lower side. This is a one hundred twenty days moving average. As you can see. This stock has moved up and down and up and down and has created a lot of noise. However, the moving average just uh, slopes upward like this, you know. So you can see that the moving average eliminates a lot of noise. And the moving average is actually most important in, um, for market timings. It's actually really great for market timing purposes. You have just to know this. You invest only if the price is above the moving average. If you do that, that elevates you to the top 1% of investors. Man, is this easy. This is so easy, man. Generally, prices follow trends. So if the price is above the moving average, it means there has been an uptrend because prices now are higher than the uh, past average prices. And if the price is below the moving average, it means the stock is in a downtrend because, the, uh, because prices are now lower than past average prices. And um, uh, in ge generally, in most assets, uh, you have a trend. So it means assets in uptrends tend to move up further. In assets, in downtrends tend to move down further. Unfortunately, most investors invest the other way down. They say, oh, the, chick is not, uh, the, um, the stock has now become cheap. Oh, let's just buy it, man. It looks so cheap, man. One year ago, it was $50 and now it's $20. Let's buy it. Don't do it, man. That's the wrong way. That's the wrong way, you know. Uh, yeah, because uh, many people are doing it because uh, the uh, stock now looks cheap. However, stocks in downtrends tend to move down further. Just don't do it. Now here you have a symbol of Bitcoin because I'm now publishing a book about Bitcoin in 2024. Uh, so I've researched a bit. Here uh, you have uh, the um, uh, five days moving average in Bitcoin. On the left side you can see what would have happened if you bought, uh, bought Bitcoin if it was above the five days moving average. On the right side you can see what would have happened if you bought Bitcoin uh, if it was below the fifth, uh, five days moving average. On the left side uh, you have a 4.58 uh, times return on your money. On the right side, you just make 32%. So, well, investing when the price is above the moving average was apparently a good idea. Now, why did I take the period between 2018 and 2023? Yeah, because I already published a book in 2018. I did all the research before already. Actually, uh, on that book, I did the research from the prices between 2013 and 18, and the result was the same, I tell you. Now we look, move into the uh, 10 days moving average. On the left side, 4.57 times return. On the right side, 33%. Now we move to 20 days moving average. If you had invested in Bitcoin, if, if it was only above the 20 days moving average, you would have made, um, yeah, um, um, uh, multiplied your money by nine. However, if you had only invested when Bitcoin was below the 20 days moving average, you, ha you would have a return of minus 36%. Now we move to the 60 days moving average. Yeah, well, 10.78 or minus 62 percent. And the best moving average in the last five years. Yay, the 120 days moving average. If you had invested uh, only if, the, if Bitcoin was above the 120 days moving average, uh, you would have multiplied your money by 22 in 
five years, man, in five years. However, if you had invested in Bitcoin, if, or it, if it was below the 120 days moving average, yeah, well, your return would have been minus 72%. Terrible. 22 times or minus 72%. You choose, man. And the last one, the 200 days moving average. Here you would have made seven times, uh, you would have multiplied your money by seven uh, if you, you had stayed above the moving average and minus 11 person if you stayed below the moving average. What do you think? So investing if the price is above the moving average, it's pretty a good idea. And else if the price is below the moving average, you either hold cash or go short. Of course, it does not only work with cryptocurrencies, it works in um, uh, stocks as well. Here I took a chart from Portfolio Visualizer, you know. Uh, here on uh, uh, the, the red one shows uh, what uh, would have happened if you had bought and hold the S&P 500 index, you know. The blue line shows what would have happened you know, if you switched between S&P 500 and cash, uh, if the uh, uh, S&P 500 was uh, above the 200 uh, days moving average or not. As you can see, the return was basically the same. However, the uh, maximum drawdown went down from 50% to 21.6%. Isn't just amazing? This is just amazing, right? So you have uh, basically the same return, uh, but your losses would have been much smaller. So even in the S&P 500, it, it's smart to invest only if the index is above the moving average. Which moving average is actually the best? I tested it with Bitcoin, you know. In Bitcoin, as you can see, between 2018 and 23, the 120 days moving average was the best. However, uh, the five years prior, between 2013 and 2018, the 10 days average was the best. So you actually cannot say which moving average will be the, will be the best one between 2023 and 2020. Eight. So you can use multiple moving averages together. That does the trick. For example, you use a multiple moving average of 10 days, 20 days, 60 days, 120 days and 200 days moving average. So you just see how much move, how many moving averages does the price exceed, you know. So you might have a price, it might be above the 60, 120 or 200 days moving average, but below the 10 and 20 days moving average. Average. Uh, if uh, with the price is strong, you know, it will probably exceed most of these moving averages. You, so you have a very strong trend. If the price exceeds only uh, one or two moving averages or, or zero, then you can see the uptrend is very weak, you know. So the 10 days and 20 days moving average, it's actually a short term trend uh, indicator. And the 60 and 120 days moving average might be uh, uh, indicative for intermediate trend, while the 200 days moving average is indicative for the long term trend. And so how much do you invest, you know? Uh, so for example, if the price exceeds one moving average, you just invest 20% of your assets. For example, if the price exceeds four moving averages, you invest 80% of your assets. If the price exceeds all five moving averages, you invest everything, 100%. It might, it might also happen that you have a downtrend and the price is below all five moving averages, then in this case you invest nothing. If you do this, you can avoid data mining, overfitting or the poor selection of moving average. For example, um, uh, uh, if you did this, wow, between 2013 and 18, the 10 days moving average looks the best. I will choose it, you know. However, the moving average did not work very well between 2018 and 2023. Here you choose kind of an average of five moving averages. Uh, so your risk of, set, uh, of uh, choosing the wrong moving average is actually uh, very small. To sum up, just Remember this, folks. Invest only if the price is above the moving average. If you do it the other way, the result will be pretty sad, you know. But most people invest that way. Very sad, right? Very sad. Because they say, oh wow, the price has moved down. It looks cheap, you know. It's, it's stupid. Don't do it, you know. Actually, uh, if you have a trend in prices, the asset which recently went up in price is actually cheap because it will go up 
further, right? And as you can see, the optimal moving average does not exist. So I recommend to combine multiple moving averages in investing. Thank you very much for watching the video uh, and please uh, push the subscriber and like button below. Thank you very much.